so this is a um, an interesting little feature. Uh, those of y'all who have followed this channel in any, for any length of time know that probably the thing I'm probably most known for is rocket-powered gliders, particularly swing wings. Um, been doing doing the the rocket power thing uh, since before I did rubber power. I mean that's that's how long I've been involved in in that. I think I uh, first time I launched a glider off a rocket, I think it was about nine, so it's been a few years. Um, I came up with the Switchblade series of, of swing wing rocket gliders, it's been pretty successful. This is actually the very first one, the very original, very original Switchblade. Um, many, many others followed that. There was the, uh, there were the ones that y'all saw, saw in the flight test videos, there was the, um, um, hang on a second. Uh, because of the flight test videos, you know, these were, were hugely popular, and so we ended up with the Switchblade S, which um, pretty much made JNH Aerospace that and the early F1D propeller hubs. I mean, those were, were kind of a thing. Um, up until, you know, this was the, the first, first one that was designed on a computer. Actually, a friend of mine uh, drew it up for me free of charge. Um, so there was that, and so the, the Switchblade series uh, were hugely support, well supported. Uh, the problem was that the, uh, the wing saddles on them, these, uh, these wire parts down here, uh, I was bending those by hand for the kits, and it was taking forever. And as our production lines became more popular, that simply was not possible. So we started investigating other possibilities, and uh, finally we were able to come up with a combination that worked. Um, and so you saw that as the, the Fliplock series, which was a horrible development program. They, they were a pain in the neck. Uh, but we finally got it nailed down to, a, I think, a fairly elegant solution in the, uh, the new Fliplock light, if I can... Um, there we go. So you've seen this fly. It flies extremely well. Um, maybe a little too well, and that's where, where things get more challenging. So I've had a, a goal for many, many years um, to go after some national records with these rockets. Uh, some of them, I think, are capable of it. The, uh, the, the Fliplock, yeah, I think it still has a few development issues. Uh, development issues, or, well, I need to pick lift to get it in a thermal uh, and to, to get the record for one fourth a rocket glider. But there's been a goal I've had long before that, and that was to set the record for something really, really big. And since this works so well, I went a little crazy. Little crazy. So let's see here. If you can see on the computer here, yeah. We, so we have parts files um, that I have been working on. Let me just turn things around here so I can show you. Um, so you know it's bad when you're breaking your your stab up into little pieces like that because it won't fit on your laser cutter. There's some dimensions. There's some. Uh, and there's some big dimensions. All that. Here's everything sliced and diced. So, so when we started life, we were, we were over here, and ooh, what's that? Yeah. So I've been cutting stuff on the laser. I've been cutting a lot of stuff on the laser, and that's where. Remember. Remember what what size this this is? Yeah, well, let's see. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of big. Let me let me show you. So that is a twenty nine millimeter fiberglass motor pod. Uh, three thirty second ply facing, and it's going to be a quarter inch uh, core in the fuselage. The wings here are not, uh, that's not full width. There's another, it comes back about yay far, something like that. Um, stab, rudder, all that. 
big carbon tube. So yeah. Um, so now is when the when the reality does start to hit home a little bit that uh, got to keep the weight down. And I never thought I'd be worrying about keeping the rocket under a pound. I am now. That'll be fun. So yeah, there's your, your teaser. It's fun. It's crazy. Help. Please. Help. I need help. I need an intervention. That works. It needs more tension there. Get the camera out of my face. <laughs> okay, folks, uh, you see it? It's huge! Alright, to explain what's going on here, um, so this is the flip lock light. Uh, this is the culmination of, of several years now of, uh, of design work that I've done on uh, swing wing rocket gliders. The flip lock light is a very good flying little airplane, um, and because of how well it flies, uh, and how nicely the mechanism works, we decided that it would probably scale up fairly well. Uh, so, this is an F to G class rocket glider. Uh, fiberglass um, 29 millimeter motor mount from Mach 1 Rocketry. Uh, we're sitting at about 18 ounces right now uh, without a, ro a uh, rocket uh, casing on board. Um, so about twice as heavy as a DLG, also has nearly twice as much uh, wing area as a DLG, so we're about the same wing loading. Um, but this is the heaviest rocket-powered object I have ever attempted by a factor of almost five. Four? Ah, we'll say a factor of four. Four and a half. Um, so yeah, that's, gonna, that's a, a little sketchy. I have not test glided this. I have CG'd it. Uh, so the CG is about where it's supposed to be. So it's at least not going to be tail heavy, maybe nose heavy. And you know what they say, a uh, nose heavy plane glides, flies poorly, a tail heavy airplane flies once. Um, so it's dark out here, but hopefully this will show up. And this is hard to hold on to. The trick is, the question is, is it going to glide super well and crash into something? No, it's just heavy, so I can barely hold on to it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, it does glide. I need more tension on the wings. Also, it's very awkward to hold on to. You would think it wasn't, but it is. So let's try one more time. I like that. It doesn't glide exceptionally well. Let me bring it back here. So we'll need to do more experimenting at the moment, but I mean, you can see it glides. I think it is actually a little nose heavy. That's good, that means I can shed weight up front. Um, so, yeah, there we have it. Uh, hopefully we're gonna launch this tomorrow. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so first of all, we can see that it's CG's right there. Uh, that's what ballast in the nose for a steady glide. And so if you put the CG there, that's safe for launch. Um, open rocket says so. Uh, we have our nose assembly. Uh, I am going to put a secondary guide up here for a, a stopper for the nose eventually, but we have our trigger that goes all the way back, latches in here. Got uh, four strands of 1 8 for opening bands. Uh, I tightened it up a little bit. Um, six strands of 1 8 for dihedral. I had to extend the lock back here. Um, yeah operator, designer, error. but anyway, the bottom line is, oh, and it needs rail buttons so I can safely launch it, because it's not real safe as it is, but the important thing is that eject, out we go, and can't get a lot more positive than that, so, 
One thing I noticed there when I yanked that out, it bent this aluminum tube. It's been bending. It's just bending more as I go. So eventually we'll have to revise that. Um, putting a stopper up here will reduce that. Problems you don't have when you uh, fly small rockets that uh, parts have less momentum to them. So, that's always fun. Anyway, we'll uh, check back in later. Alright, that wind's almost here. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Come on! Dang it! Alright, this is uh, got owner called Flitlock F. This is Josh Finn's rocket. It's flying on an F-15 with a four second delay. It has a glider recovery. So, uh, do we do, are we got people recording this? Is this another? Uh, yep. Is this something else we're recording? Okay. All right. Flip lock F going in five, four, three, two, one. There are the wings. Oh. Oh. Very nice. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. What's our uh, record flight for, for 54 this? seconds. 54? Come on, get some thermos. We're looking to exceed 54 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, we're already at 30? Wow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Forty-five seconds. We're already at forty-five seconds. Yes, the range. The, yeah, the range is cold. You may retrieve. The range is cold. You may retrieve. Keep an eye on the glider. Fifty-four seconds. We have. Yeah. We have yeah. Oh, that's awesome. One minute. We're already at a minute. We have crushed the record. It's not Okay, so it's the day after. It is a beautiful day out here at the uh, the J and H Aerospace Farm. Um, so what did we learn? Well, um, got the national record for F rocket glider. Um, did definitely comfortably exceed it. So the old record was 54 seconds. The new record is a minute 15. Um, that's still not not particularly long. Hang on, glasses are falling off. Um, because the E record is <laughs> about 15 or 20 minutes. So uh, so obviously there was a thermal involved, but I, I think the dead air time um, maximum for an F rocket glider is a lot longer than um, as far as what's possible is a lot longer than a minute 15. Um, now, a couple things. This is a heavy rocket. It's 22 ounces uh, loaded and ready to go, which is actually over the recommended weight, uh, the recommended maximum weight for an F-15. It was perfectly safe on that. That, that was not an issue. I was worried sick, um, and I felt really uh, physically drained after that flight. Um, it just wore me out. Uh, all the, the stress associated with is it is it going to be successful even though we launched it before and knew it would deploy at a safe altitude but you also saw it crashed epically um, but for the actual flight in public everything performed flawlessly I got a few scratches uh, let's see here I don't even there are none up here uh, yeah right along the you can see the the cotton um, kind of got to it and I don't know if it shows up um, but the uh, the rudder um, split a little bit so you know not not a big deal um, so what, what, are, what are the takeaways well one is uh, the F-15 is is small for this for this rocket uh, on the other hand this rockets not built super heavy uh, super strong for its size so we may have to look into uh, fiberglassing some key areas um, you can see some erosion here this was actually from the first launch I CA'd all of that over afterwards and uh, there's been no more erosion uh, since then so that's good um, so we can step up to an F-23 all the way up into F-25 range I think an F-25 is one of those in that range has the full 80 Newton seconds as opposed to 49 which is a big change in power 
uh, that would be enough to get us probably uh, since it wouldn't arc over as much so you'd, you'd be taking full advantage of everything uh, I'm thinking three to four minutes maybe more maybe much more we'll see um, but I'll have to fiberglass the the tail a little bit and whatnot. Uh, one thing I was surprised by was the CG is pretty far aft on this rocket. I removed all of the weight, the weight I had on the nose uh, in test gliding it and was really concerned about that on the launch because I thought it was going to stall all over the place, frankly. Uh, but I had to do what, what the airplane was telling me to do, and the airplane was telling me right. And you'll see, I mean, you saw in that video, it pitched up into that stall after recovering nose down with the wing deployment, slid off to one side, and entered a perfect glide. You can't ask for better than that. It is going to be a thermal hunter. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to uh, getting it beefed up enough to take a G motor. Uh, that's going to be fun. That'll probably be next year, because I, I don't know the next time we'll get to a sanctioned launch on a, a field that's big enough to do that. Um, so, anyway, um, two records in one day, that is, that's a, that is, I can't, that is an awesome feeling, guys. I've never done anything like that before, and that felt, that felt really good. Um, I've been wanting this record for a long time. Uh, let's see, it's 2018, I found, so 14 years. I've been chasing this record, and I got it. I finally got it. Um, I don't care what the rest of you, you guys say or think or whatever. I, I'm going to say this, praise the Lord. I've been praying for this for a long time for this day to come, and um, the good Lord saw fit to, uh, to let us do this uh, and make it happen. Um, one closing thing, because I know somebody's going to ask, you know, can I, can I get a kit for this? this awesome piece of craziness and, and all that jazz and, and so on. Well, um, look, if you contact me, I'll sell you a kit. Um, expect, guys, I'm going to be serious. Expect $200 and expect a three to four week delay. Um, but if you want it, I, I will sell it to you. Not this airplane. You're going to have to build a kit. Um, it'll it'll come with laser cut parts wings uh, wing blanks assembled ready to go um, but you know expect two hundred dollars because this is kind of a custom rig um, but you've seen it flies and it flies well uh, it's very very easy to trim um, and it could be a little heavier and still be safe uh, so if you want a kit, I will sell you one. You'll have to contact me privately. Um, I may put a link up on our website. We'll see. So, anyway, see y'all later. Bye-bye.